AWS reInvent is one of the largest tech conferences in North America. Every year, tens of thousands of cloud professionals, developers, and decision makers descend on Las Vegas, running from keynotes to workshops, filling expo halls the literal size of football fields, and staying up late at some of the wildest tech parties that you've ever seen. This conference can be incredibly overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, I'm gonna share with you everything that I know to get the most out of your reInvent experience. From how to plan your schedule without burning out, to making sure that you pack the right stuff so that you're comfortable and you're not limping by day two to the do's and don'ts that can really make the difference between making this a stressful week and an unforgettable one. Whether this is your first reInvent or your fifth, hopefully this video has some practical tips that you can take away when you're planning your next trip. So if you're heading to Vegas this year, stick around and I'll walk you through how to make the most of it. Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Ryan. I'm an AWS certified solutions architect and developer, and my goal is to teach you modern cloud system design using AWS. Let's jump in. If you're a professional who's working in the cloud, then I feel like reInvent is truly an unmissable experience. I think that everyone should go at least once. With over 60,000 attendees spread across multiple hotels, it's been described as an amusement park for tech professionals. Each year, reInvent usually runs the first week of December, Monday through Friday, and is centered around the Venetian on the Las Vegas Strip. Let's jump into our tips for making the most out of your reInvent experience. Tip number one, plan early and build your agenda. You want to reserve your session as soon as possible through either the AWS Events app or through the web portal. You'll get access to both of these once you have your ticket purchased. Popular talks fill fast, and there's an extremely limited availability for standbys. If you don't get registered for an event, then there will be a line waiting outside of each session that will let in standbys for people who were no-shows for the event. They usually start letting people in up to 15 minutes before a session starts, so don't ever think that you won't get into a session. You should definitely try to get early to things that you didn't manage to get registered for. Session registration opens around the first to second week of October, so make sure that you are ready to register when that happens. To do this, I found a helpful tool called the Unofficial Reinvent Planner, and you can find it at reinvent-planner.cloud. You can use this to make a list of sessions that you want to attend, and you can even share it with other people. And the best part about this planner is that if you go and click on the AWS portal button on your list, it will take you to the official session registration page, where it will have all of the sessions on your list pre-filtered for easy registration. And shout out to AWS hero Rafael Manca for making this incredibly useful planner. I would also suggest that you mix the different session types that you want to register for. There's breakout sessions, builder sessions, chalk talks, code talks, lightning demos, workshops, all sorts of different kinds of sessions that you can attend. In my experience, the builder sessions tend to fill up the quickest, so if you have any of those that you want to attend, I definitely suggest registering for them first. Also, don't forget to bring your laptop to those sessions because they are hands-on. I think my favorite sessions are the code talks because we actually get to dive into real world examples. One more thing that I'll note about sessions is you can look for sessions that specifically say simulcast. A simulcast session just means that it's being broadcast from one live location to a bunch of different other locations. This means that if you can't make it to where the actual session is happening, you can usually find a simulcast where it's being broadcast on one of the large screens. A couple notes on this is that sponsored sessions are almost always is just going to be an infomercial for whoever is sponsoring the session. And another thing that I would say, there are going to be keynotes on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and in my opinion, they're incredibly overhyped. You have to wait in incredibly long lines just to get in, and then if you don't get in, they're going to take you to an overflow room where you're just going to have to watch it on a screen anyways. I would just recommend chilling on those days, sleeping in, recovering a little bit, and then just either catching the live stream or just watching the videos once they get uploaded on YouTube. I would definitely say to conserve your energy for walking and for the technical discussions and sessions that you want to attend that day. You should also schedule backups just in case the main choices that you have fill up. Also factor in travel time and breaks in between your sessions. You should understand where the sessions that you want to attend are actually located and then give yourself ample time to travel between them. I'd recommend trying to group sessions by the venues that they're going to be at. Like maybe on one day you'll focus on being at the Venetian while another day you might focus on being at the Wynn. There are also a lot of pre-event mixers and meetups that you can find on Sunday afternoon and evening. You can use the Peer Talk feature in the official AWS Events app, and we'll talk a little bit more about this in a minute. You can also register for reInvent with a unique email alias to make sure that you keep all of your reInvent emails organized and easily filterable. That way you're not missing the incredibly crucial email that tells you when session registration opens. And finally, with your session planning, you also want to make sure that you set clear goals before you go. Whether you want to focus just on a general deepening of your 
your technical skills, or if there's very specific topics that you want to know about, like machine learning and AI, or if you're really just trying to network and meet new people, make sure you keep that in mind when you're planning your sessions. And make sure that you do not overbook yourself on sessions, especially Tuesday through Thursday. I would recommend leaving at least one half of a day, possibly even a full day, to make sure that you can go and explore the expo hall. The expo hall is one of my favorite parts about reInvent, and it usually opens Monday at 4 p.m. in the Venetian Convention Center. Tip number two, navigate the venue efficiently. You really want to understand the hotel layout and the travel time between those hotels. The strip is deceivingly large. Walking between venues can sometimes take 30 to 45 minutes. Make sure that you book hotels close to your key venues to cut down on travel strain. Since the Venetian is ground zero for reInvent and is where you'll find the expo and the keynotes, then you're probably going to want to book a hotel that's nearby. I recommend Wynn and Encore because those are venues where sessions will be hosted, as well as Treasure Island, Haraz, The Link, and Flamingo due to their proximity to the Venetian. Unless you really have specific sessions that you want to see at the Mandalay Bay or at MGM Grand, then you're almost always going to be better off staying closer to where the action is. AWS has some really good pricing deals with hotels on the Strip for that particular week. Once you have your ticket, you can book hotels through your reInvent portal, and some of them are as low as $180 a night, which is actually pretty good for Vegas Strip standards. Also, I would not rely on shuttles because they can be slow. You're almost always better off doing rideshare or just walking. Make sure that you also arrive early. One to two days ahead gives you ample time to explore, settle in, and recover from your travel, and then meet up with some people before the craziness begins. If you're finding value in this video, then please don't forget to like the video, and then let me know down in the comments if there's any other videos that you want to see me make on this channel. Tip number three, pack smart and stay comfortable. The first thing I'll say is to bring comfortable shoes. You're going to be walking for miles during this week, so make sure that you're comfortable doing it. You want to make sure that you dress in layers because it can be chilly in the rooms. While even though it's December, you are in Vegas, it can be both hot and cold when you're outside. You also want to make sure that you pack all of your tech essentials, charger, laptop, power bank, business cards, headphones. Make sure that you have everything that you need with you and take it with you in a single backpack. Make sure that you also leave space for the swag that you're going to get. Not only are you going to get a lot of swag just from going to reInvent, they usually do swag giveaways every single day, but you're also going to be picking up a lot of it when you're traveling through the expo hall. You're going to want to make sure that you have room to bring all of that stuff back with you. Sessions are not just mentally taxing, but the physical exertion of walking everywhere is equally exhausting. And I'll stress this again, make sure you are not overbooking yourself. Stay hydrated and don't forget to eat. Breakfast and lunch are served every single day in the giant hall that's underneath the expo hall in the Venetian, and it's free. Tip number four, networking and social strategy. The first thing you're going to want to do when you get the AWS events app is to jump into Peer Talk. Peer Talk allows you to match with other attendees with similar interest, and then you can plan going to sessions together, and you can schedule meetups effectively through the app. If you also want to attend or organize meetups, make sure that you're intentional about it and you're setting that stuff up ahead of time. Don't just just rely on chance encounters. Make sure that you're attending some of the key social events. After hours gatherings, vendor receptions, happy hours, even the iconic replay event. But just make sure that you don't go too hard at these events. Ensure that you're getting ample sleep and conserving your energy for the daytime sessions. You can use your downtime for casual chats. There's tons of lounges and coffee shops, even in the meal halls and the expo halls. These are great opportunities for you to meet and connect organically with other attendees. Also, if you want to find a list of a bunch of the different parties that will be happening at reInvent, you can find that on the conference parties page and I will link it down in the description. And tip number five, expo hall and swag tips. For the expo hall, I would recommend visiting earlier in the week rather than later in the week. It's generally less crowded and the vendors are a lot more responsive. Again, it usually opens Monday night at 4 p.m., but I find that that's just not enough time to fully explore it, so I recommend going on Tuesday. In the expo hall, I would make sure that you target vendors that are relevant to your work and come prepared with questions. You can sometimes get in-depth, on-the-spot training right there in the expo hall. Finally, be selective with the swag that you take. You get so much of it, and make sure you're only taking what you know you can bring with you in your bag. The most important thing to remember about reInvent is that it is a marathon and not a sprint. If you try to plan out your week as much as you can, but you make sure that you are still flexible, you are going to have a great time and you're really going to get the most out of your week while you're there. If you're going to be at reInvent this year, then let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching.